So I gotta go up here. We're gonna go pick up some stuff. Is, are we going to Serbian Traga? No, we're not going to Serbian Traga. It's that's out of Manta. It's way out. I know, I know exactly going, where going it is. It's way out there. Uh, like you're going to like Monte going Cristo. to ISS, yeah. yeah. That way. But we're not. Somebody called me today from a local number and they they didn't leave a message with me. I wondered if it was them. They said you're gonna tell me so. So did you hear the news about the guns? Yes. What do you think about that? Well, I think that uh, the businesses and the guards should have guns. Yeah. I, I'm not the, the common people, but the, you know, all these businesses have, have uh, they, they have guards with no guns. Yeah. So, there's been many, many uh, guards dead because they don't have a gun. Yeah. They need to have so a what gun. about civilians having guns? Mm, what do you no, think about that? Well, no, I don't think so. But I think the, the business you know, should I mean, it's, the president said it's going to be legal. I know. But you have to pass a test and all the yeah. you know, procedure. Yeah. So we're going to go right yeah, here. We'll go Because I've done two videos so far about guns, this whole issue with the guns, and I've gotten quite a bit of feedback from people. But, uh, it's a very controversial it subject. Is, it is, it is. I, my, most of my friends are not, they don't agree. Yeah. I agree for businesses. Yes. And for the poor guards that are in their business and they don't have, they, they yeah. have nothing to protect them. I have to, oh my god, that's, that's, wait, wait a minute, that's where we have to go. Um, <laughs> see what you make me you do? You tell me after a week. Okay, so I'll go minute. around the block. Okay, it's no big deal. Go that way. Go here? No. That no? Way. Oh, sweetie, you can, what, you're telling me, you got to tell me before we get to the turn. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? No. I can't go there. Let's go. We yeah. need to go around and okay, go back, right? Go. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> let's go around and go back. Okay. This is not DHL, it's, is it? It's, it's Avenida Ocho. Where are we, we going? Is that DHL? No, it's not. We don't, we're not going to DHL. This lady has a business. Yeah. And that's where your package is in her business. Okay. So what is this? Is this this not downtown? No, right? downtown is. What do you call open. this part? Calle Tracy. Calle Tracy. Yeah. Okay. But oh, there's a lot of business there. Yeah. But if you notice so that is, this? yes, in Manta there's business everywhere. Yes. Okay, let's go back where we came from, and then it's. Close by. You go slowly because that we cannot get into that street because it's one way okay. coming down. Is it this street? This is 10. No, it's 70 to 10. So we want to be on Ocho. Ocho. That's 8, right? Ocho Morocho. That's it right there. Yeah, that's where we have to go, but that's one. one. So I go right around the block. Let's go around, Got around it. the block. Simple piece of cake. There's DHL. That's why I asked you if we were going to DHL. And they have Serbian, Serbian Trega Trega here too. Great. Now they brought me over here one time. We I, came here to ship my passport. I always do that. <clears throat> yeah. Always. We didn't have to go. I know where the Serbian Trega is. You're talking about. That way. That's way out there by ISS. Yes. It was actually in one of my videos. Right, so I'm gonna go around the block. Now you know where to go, right? Or do you? I do, I do. Once I turn? Yes. So it's going right here. Okay. Right there. It says Karen Pamela. That's where we're going. Work right here? Yeah. Let's see how I can do it like this. That's a parallel part. Here's a lesson in parallel parking. <laughs> Let's 
check that out. Let me see. Are you impressed? Mm -hmm. So I want to go back to that street by your place at 15th Street. Okay. Okay. Which is not that far away, right? No. It's up there where that red car just went, right? these streets are one way. That's one thing I notice about driving around here is there's very few two-way streets. Right? Blow your heart. It's amazing. These people just absolutely can't wait one second. Can they? I know. But they, but the, the taxi drivers, oh, they look at this stop. hole. The taxi drivers want to stop anywhere they want, and you and and you blow the horn, they get upset, but they do it. That's just too bad. All right, I know where I am now. This is the way you taught me last week. Okay. All right, so so back on this discussion of the guns. All right, I want to talk about that some more because. In the states, it's such a problem. It, you know, everybody has guns, and me personally, I don't want to see that happen here. One, of, one of the things that they're going to require is they require the some kind of a background check, you know, and yeah, they a psychological test, and they also are requiring a toxicological test. In other words, and I kind of joked in today's video that that will probably eliminate most of the expats <laughs> because they're all too damn drunk anyway they're all too damn drunk to have a gun <laughs> and of course we all know that's just I'm just joking so what kind of business was that back there was, was that, that a wedding business she is a, uh, a dress designer dress designer oh, uh, nice. she makes for the queens and the uh, you know the one around for queens and mm -hmm. what else? Uh, for she makes gowns weddings, and stuff like for that. For weddings, yeah. the, she makes uh, wedding gowns also yeah. for the brides. Is that a person sitting up there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she don't fall off of there. Let me see. Wait a minute. They're gonna be so, the, the cars are so expensive that nobody can buy. Yeah. I, I have this this joke in here that it says, "How much will it be for a um, speaker?" How much will it be for what? Yeah, you see, when people wants to buy a gun, or yeah. no, a, a metralleta. You know what a metralleta is? No, I don't. Those um, how do you call those metralleta? Metralleta? Yeah, those that, 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 that's a bullet come out. Oh, semi-automatic. Okay. Yeah. How much, so somebody wants to buy, right? Yeah. How much is it? Is it it's five thousand. Five thousand dollars? Yes. And then, well, they say, well, how much is a revolver? Yeah. Well, that's two thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> then the guy say, oh, well, then I only, I want a, uh, a, a uh, bulletproof vest then. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happen. it's gonna happen. Nobody can buy. It's expensive. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just take a bulletproof vest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the only the the businesses. <laughs> yeah. I need to talk to my Michael, who owns Ultimate Security. I want to get his thoughts on that too. I mean, I don't want to run this issue in the ground, but I might do one more video about it. So now, the rainy season, what is the rainy season here? People say, you know, I hear all kinds of stories about when it starts and when it ends. Since you've been here all your life, when does the rainy season start and when does it end? Okay, it starts December. Okay, it starts in December. It ends in April. Ends in April. Yes. Okay, any particular date? Actually, let me tell you something. Here, it usually rains. Don't say it, April Fools <laughs> or April first. It's already gone. Yeah. Today's the, the third of April. Yeah. So, um, 
it's in April, but this year it's El Niño. Yes. It's gonna be longer. Okay. But it's always December till April. Okay. But what exactly is the rainy season? What does that mean? It doesn't mean that it's gonna rain every day. Right. No, it doesn't mean that it's gonna it rain. It just means that that's when we get rain. <laughs> Yeah, what <laughs> a question. <laughs> what, what is it in the rainy season? In the rainy season. Yeah. Because, like in Arizona, we have what's called the monsoon season. Can we turn right on red here? Do you know? Is it legal? You go ahead. Can you? Is it legal? No, no, I'm, I'm asking you, is it legal to turn right on the red light? Is it legal? Yeah, like is in the it le You just said illegal. It's like in the States. Is it legal or yeah. illegal? If it's legal or illegal, it's illegal. You s illegal. Is it okay to turn it's right on okay. red here? Okay, it's, it's not, not okay. it's not okay. It's not right. okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get okay. a, I couldn't get an answer out you of it. You just wait until the green light. Why are you so hurry? I'm not in a hurry. You know we're being recorded right now. You're going on YouTube. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so, but you you told me that it hasn't rained like this in 40 years. Exactly. Okay. My son was two years old when we had this kind of weather, and now he's 43. Oh my. It was everything was flowing. Yeah. Well, the insurance people were here today, and they took they more could. pictures. Yeah, they went to Patty's also. Yeah. I hope they went to to uh, Ken. Well, I hope they did too. He has about as much mold as Patty yeah, does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! I hope he went to Ken. Right there is where I eat at Conti Negro, Umina. See the blue sign up there, the blue, blue fish? Yeah, that's, that's where, where, I, that's where we ate lunch, yeah. I told Marcos about that. He felt so bad. He would have thought that he personally poisoned me himself. <laughs> I told him. Um. Yeah, I always say the same. Don't eat black clams. Yeah. You're not used to eating black clams. No, I'm not. I'm not used to eating clams at all. I don't know. Wait, wait how come? You decided to eat that. See that red motorcycle on that window there? Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I want something like that. So I can come out here and join the rest of these motorcycles. No? Are you yeah. saying no? I'm saying you're too old for a motorcycle. I'm not too old for a motorcycle. <laughs> Especially here. Yeah. In Ecuador. It's, I'm too dangerous to own a motorcycle here. <laughs> so this place, you know where Mr. Yes, Lundin is? That's where it. I'm going. We'll just come back around the other way. My audience is getting a good tour of what, what do you call this part of Monte? This is the way to go to the university. I'll yeah. show you where the university is. So, this is. is the university area? Yes. It's so many. It's also the hospital district. Sorry, yes, I didn't mean I know. that. It is the hospital and the university, and yeah. all of these are businesses. Yeah. They were right and left. They don't, they don't have zoning here. They don't really zone this area and say this area is for business, this area no, is for no, no, no. recreation, <laughs> this is residential only. So, 
and they have these circles everywhere. This, they do that a lot in the States too, believe it or not. Did you know that? They do businesses? No, these circles. Oh. Like this. And then we can go down to, uh, go, we go straight and then go down by La Cuadra, right? Yeah. Okay. We're just making one big circle. Yeah. We come down here to another circle and we take a right. So what is this street right here? Do you know? This is Avenida Universitaria. Where is it? Let's see Avenida Universitaria. Yeah, let's see. Got it. Right here. Okay. There's always a lot of traffic on this street. It's amazing to me for a town of so few people that there's so much traffic here. And uh, and where Jeff, uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff is, yeah. that that one over there, yes, is not Avenida Universitaria. That's uh, going to uh, San Mateo, Via okay. San Mateo. Via. There's Kia Motors. This is Via San Mateo. Via Via right San Mateo. Here. Right here is Via San Mateo. Via San Mateo, the San Mateo Beach. Oh, oh, I'm glad you told me that. I didn't know that. Via San Mateo. Got dirty on my windows. God. Everybody's saying, why don't you clean your window? And it looks like I have a bug splattered right in front of my camera. It's awful hot. Motociclista, ciclistas. What is peligro? What does that mean? Peligro. Peligro danger. 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 Will Robinson. Where is Jeff? Somewhere around here. Yeah, it's a little bit further down. It's almost by the meat place. It's almost where we turn. Mr. Jeff. I got a pretty good load for him this time. Via San Mateo. Yeah, Via San Mateo. I'm glad you know that. Look how big that pothole is. I could drive my car down in. So now we're no longer on Via San Mateo, and there's Rio de Mar up there. So what do you call this? This area here. This street, I don't know what the name is. This is a new part of, of Manta. Yeah. It's a new part of Manta. Or we can name it Via La Cuadra. Via La Cuadra. That'll work. Be careful now. I am. It's 60, right? 70, yeah, 60. 60, I'm doing like 55. Riva de Mar. Is that called Riva de Mar or Riva de Mari? Riva de Mari. It's Riva Italian. de Mari. Yeah. Riva de Mari, okay. And then what's this little community here called? This is where Reed lives. Yeah, Monta is something. Monta Tennis. Mon Monta Terrace. Tennis. 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 Monta Tennis. Tennis. Yeah, right Monta Tennis. And there's that good Mexican taco, taco brown. Taco brown. No, it's called taca Good bron. Mexican taco brown. Taco brown. Taco brown. Excellent Mexican food. There's the Wyndham Hotel and Mykonos. And there's La Quadra right there in front of it. Today is so hot. It is hot. Extremely hot. 
my air conditioner's been on all day. So the reason why I'm getting a divorce, because when I woke up, it was my birthday. My wife didn't acknowledge my birthday. My son didn't acknowledge my birthday. I went to work. My co-workers didn't acknowledge my birthday. And my manager called me in and said, Mario. And I said, fuck. I get in there and she said, happy birthday. I said, oh, thanks. Then she said, you wanna get some lunch? And I was like, okay. And then she was like, you want to go back to my place? And I was like, all right. So I went back to her place and she was like, let me step in my room. I'll be right back. She got back five minutes later and my kids, my coworkers, my wife was all there to say happy birthday with a cake. And I was on the couch butt naked.